Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I have been so busy this morning that I didn't even do an intro to the actual video today. I just woke up, had a rush over here, and I did a six hour tips procedure first thing in the morning, and now it is two o'clock, and I'm just eating breakfast for the first time because I am starving. Hope you guys enjoy another week in my life that's about to start right now. I have four call weeks left. This is the first of those four call weeks left. And we'll see what this week holds for us. And of course, I'll bring you along for the ride. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Whew. Guys, I don't even know what I was doing today, to be honest with you. It is uh, 7.30 right now. I did so many long cases and I was like trying to film stuff and I was just too tired and too hungry that I just didn't film anything. So here it is. 7.30 at night, going home on day one. Let's hope the rest of the week isn't this bad because I need a little break going forward, even though it's only been one day. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to another day in my week on call. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Last night I got woken up by a ton of different nurses about a ton of different things because we had two patients admitted overnight. And when that happens, you have to be essentially the intern overnight, healing all the pages about anything from fluids to change in medications to pain medicine to any of that stuff. So you get woken up all night because the weird thing about IR is we don't have the staff to handle that kind of stuff. It's so like for instance, a normal surgery residency will have a full staff full of interns, residents, attendings, fellows. Someone is always in-house overnight, but that's not the case with IR because we take home call and we don't have a group of interns and all that stuff. So when you do complex cases and have to admit patients, the fellow is the one who actually has to do all of the stuff an intern would normally do. And that results in a lot of sleep loss. But nonetheless, that's what I signed up for and that's what I do. Today we have another busy day and we are about to start day two. We're a little sleep deprived, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna do it. Well, I made it and I am officially dead tired. And I think I say that like pretty much every day, but today I'm definitely falling apart. I need to get some sleep. But now it's time to get over, hold on. Okay, so a change of plans. Apparently there is just traffic jam central that you guys can't see but you can't turn left on any of the streets so i'm gonna walk up a few blocks so now i have a chance to talk which means i'll tell you about my day which was busy as all get out had cases on cases on cases it was uh, pretty crazy sorry i literally just lost train of thought because i saw a guy grab onto a taxi a cyclist all right so anyways threw on the light here so today was crazy did a billion cases. I don't even know what I did. It was just nonstop all day long. And like I said before, I got minimal sleep last night from all the calls and pages. But now as always, my favorite mother-in-law is bringing me home dinner because it is about 7 p.m. She's dropping some dinner off at our door. So I have a nice home-cooked meal to eat tonight. And then we're back at it again with another day. And tomorrow is even longer, but at least I get a little reprieve tomorrow night and I'll tell you what that is in just a minute. And by just a minute, I mean, I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay, so I know I've been a little kind of rambly and a little absentee and a little of just kind of all over the place in this vlog. And the reason is because it's just been crazy the past few days. Usually I can find some time like either in between cases or while I'm waiting on something. This has just been an absolutely crazy week so far. And it is now Wednesday. We have a full day. I don't anticipate I'll be leaving here until like 9 p.m. And it is currently 7 a.m. So we have a long road ahead of us. A lot of complicated cases today, a lot of bread and butter cases. So we'll see. The good news is, is I get a reprieve like I was talking about today because recently we kind of implemented this thing where one of our co-fellows covers call on Wednesday night for us. So that means 
I just have to get through today and I can actually turn my phone on silent tonight, sleep all the way through the night, wake up rested tomorrow and feel like a new man. And also I get tomorrow day off. So basically you get a 24 hour break this week, which is covered by your toe fellow. And then I start being on call tomorrow night. But anyways, let's get through this day first. Whew. And it is Thursday. I almost said Wednesday for a second, but it is noon and I am out and about in the city, which of course there's honking. And it's weird for me to be out this time because usually I'm at work. But since again, we changed that whole scenario where I get today off, well, I get the morning off, I can kind of go out and about and enjoy the day. And today happens to be 64 degrees. And when I think of 64 degrees after being cooped up all winter long in the cold, I think of one, a vest, two, iced coffee, and three, a nice stroll around the city. Probably take my iced coffee to the water over on the east side. Just relax and maybe think about what I'm gonna do in my next video on. Step one with the vest complete. Step two with the iced coffee. Now let's go to the water. All right, so now part three is officially complete. Got my iced coffee. Got the water. Now we're just gonna sit here, relax, enjoy the view, and think about things until my call starts at like 5 or 6 p.m., give or take. So that's what I'll be doing the rest of the day. And top of the morning to everybody. It is currently Friday, which is why I'm in such a good mood. Um, last night I took the pager probably about 6.30 p.m. and uh, only got paged twice. One of them was unfortunately at 12.30 a.m. and it was completely non-urgent, so you know that made me very happy. But yeah, so today is a new day. I have a couple of procedures today. That's pretty much about it. I'm in a fantastic mood right now because I just booked a trip, flight plus hotel to Miami for my next vacation in May, which I'm super pumped for. I'm in the beach in forever and I just need, you know, relaxation. Now things are opening up. I mean, heck, Florida's been open for like a year now. Finally have a chance to go down there. Going to relax on the beach for my week rather than just sitting here in my apartment doing another staycation. I'm pretty pumped, excited. And now I have something to look forward to, which will make my gym time more consistent as well, which is just something I need. I'm used to having these trips kind of lined up so I can keep on the right path and like stay healthy, stay fit, but things kind of fell off over COVID. So now I'm playing catch up and I need this trip to kind of motivate me a little bit. So that's exciting, but now it is time to start this Friday. <laughs> And whoa, what is going on with my good old fashioned hair there? So we just finished uh, Friday afternoon now. Nothing else to do tonight. Again, as per usual, on call through the weekend all the way until Monday morning. So we'll see what comes in. I think I have to do maybe like a percutaneous nephrostomy tube tomorrow. So I'll probably have to come in on Saturday at some point or Sunday. Head home now, Andrana is of course going out with her friends tonight and leaving me all alone. But that's just what it's like on call. There's no reason for her to suffer just because I'm suffering. So I'll check in with you all tomorrow. Happy Saturday morning. We are back at the hospital. So as you can see, there's nobody in the hospital as per usual on the weekends, but we have to do an embolization of a bladder tumor today that has been bleeding. Uh, it's not really emergent. It's more of like a favor per se. It's not bleeding enough to cause the patient to be really sick, but we still need to do it eventually. So it's kind of like urgent-ish. We're just gonna go ahead and get it out of the way this morning so that if we get called in to do other emergent procedures, we can get to them. I'm gonna go consent the patient, get the rooms ready with the tech, had to call the nurse and the tech in, and we'll get to work. All right, just finished that uh, patient and it went really well. I just put the wrong combination in my locker, which is also fantastic because I'm not paying attention. It is... 2.30 p.m. and did I just put the wrong combination again? It's 2.30 p.m. Nailed it. About to head home now. I had some questionable emergencies on deck. Those ended up having negative imaging. So I'm gonna go home now. Andrana also worked today, by the way. And she's off and about to be home too. So this worked out perfectly. 
This place may look familiar because it is now Sunday. We are back in the hospital for another day of work. I have to do another procedure right now. Welcome back to the IR suite. So we are back in the IR suite for another procedure. Uh, this is a neph tube today. It was a beautiful day out today. We went for a nice walk around the park, same park I went to on Thursday. It was absolutely gorgeous. Had some coffee, relaxed. Now I had to come in, have to do this procedure, and I'll go home afterwards. The only downside is that my wife and her whole family is doing brunch right now. So that's kind of unfortunate that I can't go into that. But nonetheless, we are going to do this procedure. And hopefully this will be it for the day, and hopefully this will be it for the long weekend. All right, so I just got back from that procedure. It is now like 5 or something p.m. We just had daylight saving time last night, so it's going to be sunny a little bit longer, which is what I really like. But anyways, I don't know what's going to happen tonight. I hope I don't get called in, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. As always, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Follow my Instagram and TikTok because I've been really posting a lot on TikTok lately. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below and I'll answer it. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video. Thank you.